Hello, good viewers. You are welcome. In today's tutorial, we are going to be solving this beautiful, that is this factorial problem. So now, how are we going to do? Now, first of all, I would like to remind you of something, a property of a factorial, you know, function when you have something like x factorial. X factorial is going to give us x into bracket. Just keep deducting you no know, one from it. X minus two and so on like that. Do you understand? So we keep deducting you no know, one from one one from it and that it goes on. So now we are going to apply that here, okay? Because we are looking for the value of x. What the value of x is? So now from here, what we are going to do is that I'm going to rewrite. This uh, will be taking. I'm going to write this x plus 3 in this uh, pattern, and that's going to be x plus 3. Okay, x plus 3, then x plus 3 minus 1. Then I'm going to be having x plus 3 minus 2. Right, so uh, let me stop here because I would like to stop here because if I said 3 minus 2, I'm going to be having uh, 1. And that is what I have at the uh, denominator. So I would like to stop here. Then divide it by x plus 1. Then factorial equals 72. So now from there. So if you try to simplify what we have inside the parentheses up there. So uh, let's say we have x plus. This will give me 2. Then this one is going to be x plus uh, 1. Then factorial divided by x plus 1 factorial equals 72 right so the next thing we are going to do we can see that this and this are the same will be cancelled out so we have x plus 3 x plus 2 equals 72 so now from here what's the next thing we're going to do so this is a factored form of a uh, equation so therefore what we're going to do is let's try to open the brackets so if we open the brackets here so we have x will be multiplying everything here x plus 2 and plus 3 will be multiplying x plus 2 then we have 72 so now from there this time this we have x squared plus 2x then plus this time this we have 3x 3 times 2 we have 6 which is uh, you can transpose 72 to the left hand side we have 72 equals 0 right so we have x squared plus 2x uh sorry plus 2x plus 3x that will give me 6x uh, then plus 6 minus 32 let me rewrite it again so that it won't rub the so we have x squared plus 6 is it going to be 6 no it should be 5x oh i'm sorry I'm really so sorry for this silly mistake. So this is going to be x squared. 2x plus 3x. That will give me 5x. So plus 5x. Then plus 6 minus 72. That will give us minus 6. 6. Right? Then equals 0. So now we are left to factorize this. So now factorizing this, I'm going to be looking for, okay, it's going to be in this form. Okay, so now what will be the two factors of 66? Now when we add them together, we're going to have this. So now for instance, let's say 66 divided by 6, you can see that it's going to give us uh, 11. So when you have 11 times 6, we have 66. Now here, if we say plus 11, then minus uh, Six. You can see that we're going to have, we're going to have plus five, right? So therefore, therefore we're going to use plus eleven and what and minus six, right? So if you use that, this is zero form equation. So where we are going to be having uh, two equation linear equation x plus one equals zero and x minus six equals zero, right? So we try to transpose 11 to the other side we have s to be minus 11 and we transpose this to the other side we're going to have 6 
so we are having two you know possible solutions but we can't stop there this is factorial problem so we need to see at which one is actually you know the the, the valid solution so we are going to check all right for the validity so now checking for the validity let's go by x plus 3 or uh, let me go by this positive first x plus 3 okay that is um the the equation given to us x plus 1 you know this is factorial this is also factorial equals 72 so now what are we going to do here you see that if i put 11 here minus 11 here minus 11 plus 3 i'm still going to be having negative right but the negative uh, value of the negative value the negative factorial you know is not divine that is when you have minus uh, so if you said 11 minus 11 plus 3 that will give us uh, minus 2 so that was going to be having minus 2 factorial so minus 2 factorial is undefined okay so we cannot have the a negative uh, factorial so now let's check this one so if you have for this x equals 6 so when you put x equals 6 here yeah, we have 6 plus 3 over 6 plus 1 you no know, put factorial here we put factorial here so let's see whether when we simplify this we are going to have 72 so here we're going to have 9 factorial and you know when we have 9 factorial this can be 9 times 8 times 7 factorial over 6 plus 1 will also give us 7 factorial you see that this we cancel this so we're going to have 9 times 8 and that is going to give us what 72 right so which shows that the only valid solution that we have is x equals 6 all right and thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this class kindly share this to your colleagues and uh, consider subscribing if you have not done that before don't forget to hit on the bell icon so that you'll be notified anytime we upload a new content bye bye